Hey, Bruce here, the 5-Minute Handyman. I am going to be applying some floor leveler and want to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. Well, what I've done is uh, I've put down one application already and uh, the floor is pretty uniform over in this area here. But uh, over on this side, I need to add a little bit more, maybe a half a bag. Uh, this is just under two bags to cover this. Um, and so what I've what I'm doing here is see if we can get to uh, you can see yeah that'll work um, I have my my laser set up here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape measure it doesn't matter what height I'm set at but I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to look at what the number is for where the the laser hits it and this is 45 and a half. Uh, if I put it over here it's 45 and a half and I keep going down it's um, about an eighth of an inch higher over in that corner and then as I come down this way I am 45 and three quarters over here I am at 46 and at the wall I'm at 46 as well so what I've done is um, I've marked on the floor all these different uh, dimensions and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour the floor leveler over in this corner here. Now this is 46, this is 45 and a half. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to mark it somehow in order to show where the uh, level is going to be so I'll know how much floor level to put in. And so uh, what I'll do here is I've got a bucket, I've got um, some water in it, and I've got the floor level of material. And so over on, over on this side here, we're looking at uh, about a half inch. And so I've got a piece of plywood, which is, uh, which is a half inch. So I'm going to put this down on the floor. And I'll make a mark here, make some marks here. All right, so I had 46 here, I had 46 here. So I'm gonna keep moving this over. And work my way across. Uh, so 46 here, 45 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna need to get a little bit less over in this spot here so I'm going to make a, a mark and then I'll just draw a line just under that that'll give me a gauge um, now over in this corner we are about let's see 45 and three quarters so I'm only a quarter of an inch off and so uh, what I'm going to try here is I'm going to take my my sharpie and um, just make a mark on it, lean it up against the stud and make a mark on here. And that's just about halfway. All right, so I can just take this and make a mark like this. Okay, and so now I've got a, a gauge of where I need to put my floor leveler. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's mix some of this stuff up. And so uh, what I've done is I've made a mark, drawn a pencil line here, and uh, that's, that's about where I need to add stuff on this side. This side is pretty uniform, and so I just need to work on that edge over here. So let me set this up. What I'll do is I'm going to take this out of here, and I'll end up needing to wash this off. Always take your tool off of paddle before you wash it because uh, if you hit the handle by mistake it's going to hurt. Okay, so remember that I have my lines here so I'm going to dump some of this. Okay. So I'll just take and smooth this out. 
and my marker over here I've got 45 and 3 quarters so I'm gonna just slide it up and kind of feather it in on this edge get it nice and smooth up to the tub and this floor leveler we can we can go down to to uh, a feathered edge here so we don't have to worry about a certain thickness for it to have integrity all right so see what I'm doing so I'm pushing pushing this out and uh, I want to get this edge wet so that as it levels it's going to level right up to this edge because once it starts to to dry it's not going to work itself onto um, dry uh, dry floor leveler that's there already okay we'll just keep working this out okay, we have the rest of our stuff over on this side Keep an eye on our marking that's on the wall. We don't want to go over that. We want to just try to come and feather this out. And by feather, I mean get it from a, a thicker section down to nothing. So that's that's what we call feathering it. And so I'm going to draw this. When I say draw, I mean I'm going to take some of the material here and help push it in this direction. Okay, so that's drawing it out. Kind of do the same same thing when we're painting. We put paint on the wall, and we go back and we roll over it just in one direction so that it draws out and provides a nice uniform coating. Okay. Let's see how we're looking here. Just about right, the right amount mixed up here. This stuff is some pretty runny stuff here. Alright, again I want to make sure that it wets nicely to the base that I'm putting it on. And uh, by wetting, I want it to, to fully cover the edge. I don't want to have any dry spots in here because it won't level itself if I do. And I think this is coming out nice here. Okay, this levels out pretty, pretty well. Now, once I get done with, with this, I think that looks pretty good. My lines are, are pretty well covered, pretty uniform. So, uh, once I get done with this, I'll show you what, we, what it's looking like. Alright, so we're in pretty good shape here. So, we're going to get done. We're going to have to let this sit for uh, a day. 12 hours before I put my my underlayment on there and the underlayment that we have is uh, this material and it's a um, OSB flooring it's got a tongue and groove and so we're going to put that on top and then we'll be ready to put our cement board and then our tiles so that's the process for putting down Floor leveler, pretty easy process. The toughest thing is lifting the 50 pound bag, but uh, once you get that squared away, it's easy. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel, and if there's any other things you'd like me to show you how to do, please leave it in the comments.
Thanks, Bruce with the five minute hand.